Wake up to the facts. When good people are silent, freedom dies. Don't be afraid to ask those tough questions. Be a patriot and join the struggle to keep America free. Freedomdies.com. Let your voice be heard. Well, look, uh, either you'll, you'll have a, an, ex, uh, an extremist uh, conservative, be it Gingrich or uh, Santorum, in which case I think it would make a big difference which of the two uh, com- comes in. If it's between Obama and Romney, there isn't all that much difference, except uh, for the crowd that they bring with them. Romney would have to take Gingrich or Santorum as a vice president and uh, uh, probably have some pretty extreme candidates for the Supreme Court. So that's the the downside. But isn't there actually quite uh, a big difference between even a President Obama and a President Romney when it comes to questions of taxation, particularly taxation of the so-called 1%, issues like carried interest. Do, do, you, see, do you see any difference no, that, there? That, that is the, uh, the big uh, difference and that has uh, led my uh, hedge fund community abandon Obama in favor of <laughs> any, any Republican because they don't like to be taxed. Are you one of Lenin's useful idiots in the view of your fellow hedge fund billionaires to be uh, making this kind of argument? Well, I suppose so. I'm a traitor to my class. As you just saw in that clip, it's George Soros trying to convince us that he doesn't care who the president is, whether it's his buddy Barack Obama or Mitt Romney. But the truth is, he does care. He spent millions, if not billions, trying to influence politics around the world. Uh, Many people in Asian countries believe that he's used his money to manipulate the financial system, to manipulate their political system. I mean, this guy is, he has an agenda, and he's not afraid to use his money to achieve his goals. Uh, there's probably little doubt that he represents some other big name, uh, financiers and billionaires, but we're really probably never gonna go, know who they are unless he tells us, and we know that's never gonna happen. So, don't be fooled by this George Soros, uh, line that he doesn't care who the president is, or he doesn't care if it's Mitt Romney or Barack Obama. That's completely untrue. What what you're going to see in the coming months is him and his people, his minions, they're going to start fanning out uh, through different groups and start pumping money into the Obama re-election campaign. And uh, he's going to do his best to distance himself publicly from it because he knows the negatives. People are figuring out what this guy's about. So he wants to keep his negatives away from the president, and uh, but he still wants to manipulate our system using his multi-billion-dollar. Uh, he's one of the top, he is in the now in the top ten according to Forbes richest men in America. So there's no doubt what this guy's about, and there's no doubt that he's a huge Obama supporter and the policies of the Obama administration. So. This is just a prelude to this billion dollar campaign that Obama promised to run where, you know, they don't want it to be about the president. They don't want it to be about the economy. They're going to be, well, there's not much difference between Obama and Romney, but Romney's going to bring in his cronies where Obama, you know, he's not going to do that because he's more ethical. Yeah, right. If you fall for that, you deserve another four years of Obama. But I'm hoping enough of you will wake up and realize what's going on with people like Soros. And this isn't really a conspiracy. It's more of a covert operation to achieve the goal of reelecting the president. Uh, It's pretty easy to see through. And, you know, with enough people out there talking about it, We're not going to allow it to happen.